We're getting a late start. I think it's like 11 right now, right? Huh? Is it 11? Yeah. We're just starting the trail now and I will update you guys in a bit. And it is so pretty here, you guys. This is on the south side of Kananaskis. You can see straight through my life. Oh, there's something in my chest that I can't hide When feelings get involved, I'm terrified Cause I've been here before and said goodbye Oh, I I'd find Oh, I it's very easy to miss make sure you watch for a little arrows that people made with rock because you do need to turn eventually if you want to go to Mount Hoffman I think Dyson Falls is if you go straight down there but today we're doing Mount Hoffman so I will see you guys in the next clip
we're at the top of Mount Hoffman. We're just getting some photos and then we're gonna head down. I don't know if you guys can hear me. It's really, really loud. <laughs> it's cold. Yeah, it's cold, cold too. Cold, cold. They say, be me. The beneath the bed before you go to sleep. Keep up, I shine. You surely get burned if you reach out and touch. My mind is a battle, I'm trying to hide it. Getting these voices inside to stay quiet. Under the place where all this began. Welcome to my after hike summary for Mount Hoffman. So I did this hike on May 28th. I did this with my mom and it was a Saturday. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. It was a Saturday and I honestly didn't know what to expect with Mount Hoffman. I don't hear a lot of things about that hike at all actually. Even like Dyson Falls in the same parking lot, I don't hear a lot about. So. What made me do this hike is because I was looking up a moderate hike I could do with my mom that wasn't scary. The last hike that I took her on was the Canyon Creek Ice Cave and she found the end scramble bit just too scary and too sketchy and she didn't want to do anything like that again. So I was looking for more of a moderate hike that she would enjoy. So I found Mount Hoffman and honestly, there wasn't a lot of all trails reviews on it, like recent ones or anything like that. I was a little bit concerned when I decided to go on this hike because I was like, what if there's nobody there? What if, I don't know a lot about this area. I don't go to South Kananaskis very often, except for now. I've been going there quite a lot. I usually frequent like West Kananaskis, you know, like the Wasu, Yates Mountain Barrier Lake type area. I go there quite a lot to go hiking, but I don't really travel south very often <laughs> however there is some amazing hikes down south i just did gunnery with my friends a couple days ago and i really enjoyed that one so anyways i almost actually changed this one to yates mountain jewel pass because i know that one is really heavily trafficked to my surprise there was so many people on that hike like so many people i didn't know that mount hoffman was a thing i didn't know a lot of people went there even but the parking lot was full and i know a lot of people went to dyson falls because that is in the same parking lot a lot of people did that hike a lot of people just went to look at the river and take photos and stuff like that but there was also a lot of people hiking Mount Hoffman that day. So I honestly did feel safe. I didn't think that there was any bears around or anything like that. And yeah, my mom had a great time. She really enjoyed this hike. We clocked in at 9.5 kilometers because I did get a little lost. I missed my turn onto Mount Hoffman. I wasn't looking at my map properly. And I continued on to the Dyson Falls Trail a little bit. So that is why my kilometers was a little bit more than normal. I think it's like eight actually, around eight or eight and a half. But I clocked in at 9.5. I went over by kilometer 
and the elevation gain on this one was 522 meters. The views up there are pretty decent actually for such a short hike. I find it short anyways. You're getting amazing views of Southern Kananaskis for only going four kilometers up the mountain. So this one was definitely moderate probably the easy side of moderate. There is a steep section near the end and then you pretty much hit a ridge a little bit. You're in the trees for a little while and then you get to the top of a mountain. It kind of reminded me of the summit of Prairie Mountain. There's quite a lot of space at the top. It's not like a, you know, like a peak with like no room to do anything. It's quite a big space up there. There was a bunch of groups up there and we all had our space. We all had our time to take photos and stuff like that. This was an amazing hike. And if you guys are into the more moderate type hikes, I highly recommend this one. Or if you wanna do it a little bit longer, you wanna go to Dyson Falls, you can definitely add that into your day. But like I said, I got a little bit lost on the trail and I missed my turn onto Mount Hoffman. So that kind of wasted a little bit of our time. It kind of wasted a little bit of our day. So we decided just to go back and do Dyson Falls another day. And I'm doing that with my mom as well. That one is like a moderate slash easy one, I believe. But yeah, there is so many hikes in Southern Kananaskis that you guys need to check out. This is just one of them, but there's so many. Like, like I said, I just did gunnery. That one was amazing and i will do you know like a full vlog on that one as well so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already i upload three times a week sunday wednesday and friday and i will see you guys soon bye